Hey, what is up guys, MKBHD here. And yes, first things first, we have already made a video about all the things we think we know about iPhone 8. All the rumors all rounded up in one place. So the things we think we might know, the things we may not know, some really interesting stuff in there. I will leave that link below. But this, this is taking it to the next level. So this has happened before, but this is a model, uh, actual physical in-hand representation of all of these leaks and rumors and everything we know about the next iPhone and what we're expecting of it. So this is something like what case manufacturers might get their hands on to start to design their iPhone 8 cases and start to prototype their iPhone accessories. This is all the, the physical dimensions and everything based on what we know. Uh, so thanks to Sonny Dixon again for helping us get our hands on this, but I uh, figured I'd get a little bit more in depth with it since we actually have one now. So right off the bat, first thing you notice, of course, is the display, which has some really awesome edge to edge action, but also has some interesting top sensor protrusion going on, coming down from the top. You may have seen this in the latest leak where the HomePod firmware had a little bit of a silhouette developers found that represents the next iPhone and it has this indentation at the top for these front-facing sensors. It looks a little bit weird in the glyph, but seeing it in real life, this is what it would look like, and honestly, still looks a little bit funky, but now that you see how the display kind of wraps around that bar with the rounded edges everywhere, it, it still looks really interesting. Reminds me of the renders of the Essential Phone, actually, which we have also yet to see in person. But obviously, if this is what it looks like, my biggest question is what Apple plans to do with the software. You know, will they put stuff up there in the top corners, maybe battery to, to one side, the signal strength to the other side, and then notifications in the middle. Whatever they do, it'll be really interesting to see. But obviously the bigger story with this model is literally the screen to body ratio. This has always been a weakness of the iPhone. It's 2017, bezels are shrinking, the iPhone has had a massive forehead and chin and even side bezels forever iPhone 7 Plus had a 5.5 inch display this year, but is still one of the biggest phone bodies on the market. This iPhone 8 model has what measures up to be a 5.7 to 5.8 inch diagonal, but in a smaller body. So this is a big deal for the modernization of iPhone design for sure. Smaller body, more handheld, more pocketable. So thanks to some After Effects magic, this is what the display on the front of the iPhone might look like when it's on with iOS 11. Again, not really sure exactly what they do with the status bar up top. We played around with this for a bit, but you can see it gets a lot closer to that 2017 feeling of just holding a display in your hands. Will it be more breakable and fragile because of this design, you know, getting closer to the corners? Of course, but let's be real, it's probably worth it and people are kind of breaking their phones anyway. So now for some other quick things you may notice about this body. Number one is the glass back. So the iPhones up to this point have had these metal backs, which of course feel and look super premium, but of course don't support wireless charging. Wireless charging doesn't work through metal. This iPhone 8 model has a glass back very similar to what we've seen in Samsung phones like the Galaxy S8 and Note. So you can support wireless charging, but keep the metal on the sides and still keep that premium feel in the hand. Uh, the other thing is the camera bump on the back is of course still there, it's pretty big, but of course this is what we've been seeing for months now in leaks about the new iPhone. New orientation for the camera sensors, flash in the middle in between them. And hopefully these new cameras get a spec bump to go with that big camera bump uh, and take some more awesome photos and videos with this new year. The power button on the side is something I noticed. It's in the same place, but it is a little bit bigger, which is interesting because of the rumor that Apple might try to stick a fingerprint reader in the power button this year since they couldn't get it to work under the display in time. But the most recent info suggests that this will be a normal power button and Apple will go all out with 3D facial recognition for unlocking your phone securely. Allegedly, that can be just as safe, if not more so, than a fingerprint, but you already know I'm gonna be testing that. And then, yeah, just the overall premium look and feel of this model, it's way nicer than early renders, obviously, just like it ends up being every year. The glass even kind of has this 3D curve right at the edges, sort of melts into the side rails, so it's smooth around there, it's smooth to hold. But that is pretty much it. And honestly, this is as close as we're gonna get to seeing the next iPhone, short of someone actually leaking the phone in person. But uh, let me know what you think. Is this something you would rock in 2017 and 2018? as iPhone 8. Maybe share this video with your friends who are interested in seeing what iPhone 8 will look like. But until then, that's been it. Thank you for watching. Talk to you guys in the next one. Peace.